Hi, this is John with The Evolving World. Today we're doing another video on LED upgrades. This is round two. Uh, with the success of my last install, I thought that maybe these three locations would be secondary, but maybe possibly quite, quite useful as well. So first up we have the map light location. So I got two of these. And this is right above, right where, you, right where you wanna, right where you wanna, like if you wanna read a map or something or read a book, which I oftentimes find that I do when I'm charging for 30 minutes at a fast charging station. So the light that's in there, this is actually a single, a single SMD LED, and um, the what the light that's in here is this one, which doesn't look any different than the five watt accessory light that's everywhere else in the car, except it's an eight watt. And uh, it does not put out very good light for map reading. I can tell you that right now. So hopefully this light will be better. It promises to be a 7 watt backup light. So similar to like what you would have reverse lights. But I figure that must be bright enough. But anyway, we'll put that to the test and see if that one lives up to its claim. And then next we have, this is the uh, H11 fog light bulb. Now this is an interesting design. I haven't seen anything quite like this one. It's got this conical shape here in the middle, reflector. It's got eight SMDs on the bottom here, and it has eight SMDs on the top, all lined up all the way around and everything. And then it's got four on the front as well. So it's kind of an interesting looking bulb. There's no heat sink, no fan. Quite a bit cheaper than the last one I put in. So, uh, but it claims to be the same thing. It claims to be a 100 watt fog light, 6,000 6, K. So the bulb temperature should match the, the um, headlights in my car. But um, as, as far as everything else, we'll have to check it and see. But the only thing I'm, I've noticed firsthand that the first thing I've noticed right here is that it does not line up. The, the element right here is at a different depth than the center of this right here. So I can see that that's going to be a that's going to be a problem for sure. So I highly doubt that it's going to be equal to this as far as light pattern. But um, otherwise, it's pretty interesting. I'm quite curious to see what this thing actually puts out. And lastly, we have, this is the dome light. This would be the replacement for the dome light and the uh, trunk light. So 12 SMDs, festoon bulb, 30 millimeter size. So uh, yeah, compared to the old stuff here, you know, it's gotta be better than that, but how much better and how, if, is it worth the, the money uh, spent on these guys? And that's what we're gonna find out. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these guys in the car and um, afterwards I'll bench test them and then I'll come back, we'll do a compare to the old to the new, and then come back to find a final analysis. So, uh, yeah. Okay, interior lights, they're real easy. Take a padded screwdriver here, and just kind of, oh, you can turn it on too, and pop it right out. And it should just slide right out. Or not man okay and this just pops right out so this is a 12 volt 8w or w8 w8w w. looks just like the 5w but it's an 8 it, yeah so here's the difference between the two if I turn them on this new one is much brighter, much much more directional light too, whereas this one's more just a warm kind of gentle glow. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to modify this and make this so that it comes straight down or tilts forward slightly. Because it makes a much better map light in this form than it does in this, this way. I mean this just doesn't work at all. It's really dim. I like to be able to read when I'm charging at night. So I think that this is actually something I could read by as opposed to this which is just not working at all but anyway it's all fun okay so I took that whole panel out kind of slides right out there's a couple little plastic braces that come in here and there's a couple wires that so I just took that whole thing out and then here's this one right here this is kind of comes out of there's a K shot here this is the little best tuned light it just comes right out Okay, I spent about 10 minutes here modifying this out and everything. This is how it was, and this is how it is now. And what we did is we just tore this little, we took this little thing out right here, and then turned it sideways, stuck it in there like that. So 
So this is protruding out, but it doesn't actually hit the roof or anything. So I think it's going to work just fine. So that got us the angle now. So now the angle of this new light should be pointing right exactly where we want it to go. Okay, here they are installed. It looks like the cap will actually fit in place if I want to put it in. But I'm going to try leaving them out for now. Basically because these are nice projector type beams. They actually fit pretty nicely in there too. And puts the light right where I want it. So it's a nice map light now. I can actually use it for reading. I think I'll be able to put my magazine or my book. And be able to just kind of hold it here and just kind of be able to read. Because they weren't working before, that's for sure. Okay, to get to the fog lights, what I've done is I've jacked the car up a little bit. And um, now what I'm going to do is there's a large plastic panel underneath here. We're going to remove that so I can get access. Okay, so to get access to the fog lights, I found that just taking this plastic piece and bending it down is all you have to do. You don't have to completely remove it. I've got my drill in here to kind of wedge it down. And what you can do is you can reach in here and kind of, kind of blindly just kind of reach out and grab. This is the bulb right here on the wire. So it's hanging down. But you can reach up there and just turn it a quarter turn just like the high beam headlight. Same kind of bulb, just slightly different wattage. Just reach in there and blindly grab it and then just pull it out that way. So you don't have to tear off the whole front end or anything. You just have to remove these bolts and get in there and and just uh, make sure you wear gloves like I got on here. And long sleeve shirt because you're going to be reaching in here. You're going to scrape your arm up quite a bit. But anyway, that should do it. Let me turn the fog lights on. That's the old fog light, which is very distinctive light pattern. Although they seem to be maladjusted by being that low, since the low beam's up over there. But you get a nice flat, wide angle light. And so here's the new one, which is quite a bit different. More of a straightforward, as I kind of suspected, you know, just due to the fact that it's a, that that, that element is not lined up where it's supposed to be. But it looks, it certainly looks nicer. And it certainly is more efficient on the light. The proof is in the pudding as far as being a fog light. It's, not, it's definitely not that. But maybe as a supplemental light, it might be fine. Okay, so here's the dome light in the door position. So it seems to work with the, with the uh, dimmer. It doesn't quite have the range of an incandescent bulb, but it still works. I think it looks pretty good. A fraction of the energy as the other bulb. That's how it dims out. I just put this little plastic panel back in. and now. Okay, so here's the bench test results. As before, Quite surprising. The numbers don't necessarily match up with the claims. Imagine that. So what we have first is map light. Um, this I'm very happy with. These are very, uh, it's just a single SMD LED, but it's like, uh, it's, it's a projector light. So it puts all the light out right where you want it. And very happy with that. That was only $5 for two of them. And it put out 1.5 watts, which is, I don't know where the seven watt backup light came from but um, actually in actuality 1.5 I would estimate at that wattage that that's probably putting out about 15 15 watts of halogen power most likely so so compared to the 6.5 which is what I measured before it's quite an improvement and of course as before all of these were measured at 12.4 volts so all of these are consistent across the board here and second up, we have the H11 fog light. Now, this one was kind of a big mystery. It was only $15 for a pair, which was uh, quite a good price. And actually, you could get it from China directly for about $10 a pair, but you'd have to wait 21 days 
to get it though. So I didn't I didn't do that. I just said what what what's another five bucks? You know, I'll just get it now. But um, anyway, so yeah, this 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 one the light quality is really good as shown. But as you saw in the video, the the light pattern is completely messed up. Does not make any sense. This this does not line up with the fog light position. So it's definitely not a fog light. And as far as 100 watts, that may be justifiable. I mean, 11 11.1 watts is what I measured on the on the scale. So that you know, at, at that wattage being a little higher, it's probably eight or nine times efficient as the halogen, which of course was only 40 watts on my scale. It's supposed to be 55, but I got only got 40. But um, yeah, I, I would say that's probably 80 or 90 watt equivalent. So I think it's got the power. And without a heat sink, without a fan, and without all the fancy advertising, it's like, it's quite a bargain actually. Actually, the only thing is, is it's more of a driver light. It's just it's more like a show for show light. It's not a true functional fog light. That would be the only disadvantage. So that's kind of subjective. It's kind of like somebody might see it as a good value. I would say it's probably okay. It's, it's certainly not exceptional. If it was a true fog light, it would have been exceptional value. And lastly, the dome lights. The dome lights actually turned out to be, surprisingly, lower wattage. Only 0.62 watts, which at that, at that rate would probably be about a 6 watt, maybe 7 watt bulb. So I didn't, as opposed to a 7.2 is what we were replacing. So that's probably a wash, maybe slightly dimmer. The only LED I put in that was actually maybe slightly dimmer, but it didn't. It doesn't seem like it because you know the the bluer light and everything makes it look much brighter. But anyway, this is what we were comparing it to: 12 volt, 8 watt, truly putting out 7.2, 30 millimeter. And um, so yeah, these are only 80 cents. I got a, I got a, these are like a 10 pack for eight bucks, and they're like 80 cents each. So you know, it's kind of like you can't really beat it. Um, the light's not going to be improved improvement though. That's the only thing to note about that. But anyway, there it is. That's the information, and uh, hope this helped you out. That's with the lights off, and that's with the fog lights on. So I mean, it will probably make a difference but it's definitely not fog light positions.